government of Belize Press Office Director Dorian Pakeman would probably like nothing more than to put the events of Wednesday night, March 30th, 2016, behind him. That was the night his government owned Isuzu D-Max and 45-year-old Dean Dawson's bicycle met with fatal consequences for Dawson near Mile 23 on the Philip Goldson Highway. The case took many strange twists and turns, culminating in the single charge of causing death by careless conduct against Pakeman being dismissed last May. Common law wife and mother of four of Dawson's children, Sherla Adolphus, had received a settlement at the time and controversially requested that the case not proceed further. She was back at court today, but this time she did not get what she wanted. I do not get justice. And it is not fair for a single woman with four children for do not have justice and knowing that he killed my baby's father. God is not sleeping. Mr. Pakeman, you need to wake up and step forward and um, like just do your responsibility, no matter what the court say, but you know personally that you killed Dean Dawson, my commander husband, and he is not in the fault of this. Adolfo stood by herself in the courtroom of Justice Sonia Young with only family as support, facing Pakeman and his attorneys, including Agassi Finnegan of the Solicitor General's office. Arguments held in camera lasted all morning, and this afternoon, Justice Young told Adolphus that she had not proved that Pakeman was negligent in causing Dawson's death. Adolphus vehemently disagrees. They said that he, they didn't find him in no fault, mm -hmm. that he knocked down Dean Dawson. So who else could knock down Dean Dawson? That's what I need to know. Who else was with him? Who was driving the truck if it's not Pakeman? Did you say? Did they say it was accidental or, or what? They. Pakeman said Dean swerved in front of him. Dean will not do such a thing. And and he was coming to coming home to his children. Dean will never ever swerve in front of Dorian Pakeman vehicle to kill himself. Adolphus must now pay court costs of two thousand dollars and says she is not sure if she will appeal. But the bigger issue for her is the continued care of her now fatherless children. As far as what I know. I will not appeal on behalf of nothing concerned Pakeman anymore because he know what he did. So you just want him to accept his responsibility? Accept your responsibility because I have four and a half children. I care mine on my own. You take away their father. Aaron Humes reporting for News 5.